Hey guys, I'm just out on another day ride. I've uh, ended up down here, just not far from Thames, the Karonga Valley Road, which comes up into the Coromandel Forest. And at the end of this road, it's the start for the uh, walk to the Pinnacles. It's quite a popular walk around here. So I'm just out, just exploring some of these roads, the back roads of the Coromandel Peninsula. So I'm starting on this one. I haven't been up here before. I'll go up and see what it's all about. It's quite a nice morning. Then I'll make my way out back along the Coromandel and uh, check out some more back roads. So uh, stay tuned. Now this road starts off Tarsil from uh, Thames, from the main road to turn off. Then when you get to the visitor centre, uh, turns to gravel. So far it's just been following the river pretty much the whole way up from Thames. And it is a dead end, it's probably, maybe it's about 20k from Thames, the road. But uh, like I said earlier, there's a car park where the uh, walking track starts from. I've already passed a few uh, walking tracks, so there's, there's a few in this area. It's certainly very scenic. Rightio, so we must be getting close to the road end. Okay, so let's carry on. I think I'm the only one up here this morning. It's a Monday morning. And what is the time? 20 past 9. I think I left home just before 7. It took me a couple of hours to ride down here from my place. If you do the Pinnacles walk, there is a hut you can stay in, so obviously you can uh, spend the night up there. It'll take a couple of days to do the walk. Okay, so I've made it to the car park. So I'd say these people are, must be doing an overnighter. Staying in the hut up there. So you want to see a sign somewhere that tells us a bit about the, the walk. Otherwise, uh, I could check it out at the visitor centre back there. Oh, here we go. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay, so here we go. So the Pinnacles Hut, three hours. And you've got a couple of other options there. Wifey and I might come back over summer, might do that walk. Um, I think you, if you're fairly fit, I think you can actually do it in a day. We'll see how we go. No drone zone, damn it. Oh well, that's all right. I'll go fly my drone somewhere else. All right, well, let's uh, head on back down and uh, check out a few more back roads on the Coromandel. All right, had my caffeine hit. Time to carry on.
Nice looking SS Commodore Ute right there. Good condition. Not a bad little cafe. Recommend that one. Come back again. Now a quick little recap of this morning's ride. So I've uh, obviously come from home, ended up in Thames, and then I went up that Kaharonga Valley Road, took me up to the Pinnacles Hut car park, checked that road out. Then I came back down to Thames and called into the cafe, had a coffee and a muffin. And then this road that I'm on now, on the Fairford Thames side of the Coromandel Peninsula, if you stay on this road you'll end up in the Coromandel town but I'm going to do a right hand turn up here and do the Tapu Coroglen road which I've done a couple of times so I haven't done this direction from west to east uh, so I'm going to do a bit of a zigzag so this will take me across to the west side and I'll end up close to Fidianga uh, but then I'm going to hook on to the 309 which will take me back across to the, the side that I'm on now, but I'll be further up north, be up more towards Coromandel Town. But I might call into that um, Castle Rock Road and check that out. I've been up there a couple of times now. Um, and I just want to check if it's actually private property, if I'm allowed to go up there. I've done a bit of research, but I still haven't really got to the bottom of it. So if there's no signs that's saying trespassers will be prosecuted, then I might head on up into the forest and uh, have a look in that area up there. Okay, let's go. Uh, here we go. The road's going to turn to gravel. Now the fun begins. It's actually not too bad on this side. It's um, once you reach the top and you're down on the uh, eastern side. This is probably a little bit more technical. All right, I've reached the top of the uh, road and I'm winding my way back down now. So I thought I'd just pull over and have a look at the view. Um, pretty high up here, pretty remote. So I thought I'd get the drone up, have a look around. And I've just realized there's a few beehives over here. So um, better stay away from this area. Uh, hopefully the drone doesn't upset them and uh, creates a swarm. But if I launch it over here, away from the bees, hopefully I'll be okay. All right, okay, let's uh, get the drone up and uh, Check out the view. Okay, well I couldn't help myself. I had to fly my drone over the beehives. They're not happy. Just to stir them up a bit more, let's go and have a closer look. Hopefully they don't attack me. So I don't really know a lot about beehives, but they, the lids have been taken off those ones. Not sure what that's all about. Anyway, we'll uh, leave them to it, let them uh, do their honey thing, 
catch a load of bees. Okay, so we've reached the end of the Topu Koro Glen Road. We'll just hop down onto Tar Seal. We're going to go left towards Fittianga and uh, go and give the 309 a go. Got busy all of a sudden. There's the Cora Glam pub. Actually, maybe it's not open on a Monday. So, if I had to choose between the Tapu Cora Glen Road and the 309, I think I'd choose the Tapu Cora Glen. It's uh, a bit narrower, it's uh, probably better on a motorcycle, not as good in the car because the road's not as wide. Um, and it's probably less busy, well it is less busy than the 309. Okay, so now left onto the 309 road. Next 25k twisties. We're going to start off in the tar seal and it won't be long before we hit the gravel. Now I've just turned off to 309 and this is, I think this is called Castle Rock Road but um, it's not actually shown on Google Maps anymore. I came across some photos last night on the internet, uh, they're about six years old. So there's, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this road, um, I haven't seen any signs saying private property and uh, I have been up here a couple of times before but I've only gone as far as Castle Rock. So I'm going to do a little bit more exploring today and see how far along the road uh, I'll get. Eventually I'm going to have to turn around up there, I know that. Now let's, uh, let's go to off-road plus. One time I went up here, started to, I didn't really want traction control on, so I'm going to turn that off. All right, now yeah, well, fingers crossed, I can get up there. So you've got to cross over this uh, river. Then she starts to just go straight up into the forest. Now here's the gate, which I've never ever seen closed, and I haven't seen any signs saying no access. She's a wee bit, it's probably going to be a little bit wet from the last time I did it. Got my new tyres on, so these might be a bit grippier. I'll just take it easy. Yeah, she's definitely a bit slippery. There seems to be less gravel on it than last time I came up. It gets quite steep up towards the top. Oh, looks like a tree's uh, about to come over. Fall over. Oh, at least I've picked a good day for it. It's nice and fine. Definitely a bit rutty. We did it, we've had a bit of rain lately over the last week or so.
Hopefully I can keep it upright. Now this little fork in the road going right will take you up towards Castle Rock I believe that's where I went last time and flew my drone but I haven't been down this little road here so that must be Castle Rock straight up there oh okay all right that's why I haven't come down this road you can't get down it there's a gates Castle Rock Road now let's see what that actually says Public access way, restricted access. Okay, well, that's answered my question. So I'll turn myself around. And I'll uh, go back up that other road I've been up before. See how far I can get. gets a bit sketchy at the top there's a uh, bit of a ditch that I've uh, put across the road I managed to get over it last time but it could be uh, a wee bit wet today this is where it gets quite steep and it gets quite rutty up here too that no, that doesn't go anywhere right that's okay this is the ditch here I was t talking about oh, she's a bit bit deeper than last time Uh, let's investigate this. Okay, so yeah, last time I went up over here, and it definitely wasn't like this. They've really uh, blocked it off now. If I came up there fast enough, I'd probably be able to jump that, but uh, just dreaming, I think, for sure. There's no way that's going to happen. Right, well this is the end of the road up here. I have carried on up there before, once before. Then I ended up turning around because uh, I was just getting deeper and deeper into the forest. And being by myself, didn't really want to risk it. Um, this is pretty slippery up here. I think I have been down this road and it doesn't go far. Oh well, that's about it. Oh, I came up when exploring. Okay, I'll turn around. I won't even try going up there. She's definitely slippery clay. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm glad I came up saw for myself what's doable not doable today off we go back down Rightio guys, well that's about it for this ride, found myself a new friend, good day mate, come here, hey, 
How's it going? All right. Hey, yeah. Look, you're on my channel now. You're a superstar. Hey. I know, I know where you've come from. You've uh, wandered over from the cafe down there next to this uh, road that I'm on. So pretty pleased with these tyres going up that uh, bit of a track there. They handled okay, didn't slip out at all. Alright guys, well if you made it this far in the video, thanks for uh, watching. And if you haven't already, um, hit subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Righty guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers.